Cara Mund right there getting crowned Miss America almost a year ago. Cara's reign took a turn last weekend when she posted a five-page letter accusing the organization, in particular Chair Gretchen Carlson, of bullying and silencing her. Now, Gretchen denies these claims, and Cara joins us now from New York. Good morning, Cara. Hi, good morning. Thank so, you for having me. Yes, thanks for coming on. Let's talk about your letter with some of these accusations, the lack of respect and the bullying. Can you get a little more specific of exactly what happened? Yeah, so this letter was actually sent to my sisters, uh, the former Miss Americas. And as my year is coming to an end, I knew that I wasn't going to be able to pass the crown on to the next girl, knowing what she's going to have to go through, um, knowing what I went through. I do talk a lot about what happened within the letter. Uh, it was it was a five-page detailed letter, and you know I've I've been really grateful for the support I had. It took a lot of courage to send it to my sisters, and I was scared when it when it was leaked. Uh, but now I know that I'm just hoping that the right thing is done so that the new girl coming in has an experience that lives up to that dream that she has. I've heard other interviews that you've done, and uh, I, I I do I give you tremendous credit for the courage that you showed but if you're going to publicly accuse someone and subsequently slander them uh, an entire organization can you get into more specifics about what you're hoping the next miss america isn't going to have to deal with yeah well as stated i mean this letter went to the sisters and then it went public um, I have proof of everything that was in the letter and actually concerns I started having back in January. I went to staff members. I was told things like, I'm sorry, we can't change it. This is the leadership. I remember saying at one point, like, you have a voice too. And they said, I know, but I can't do anything different. Uh, staff was scared. We've actually had five staff resignations. Uh, two members of the board resigned based on poor governance. And, you know, as, as Miss America, I serve as, you know, a face and a voice. And Miss America starts at the local level, the state level, and those are all volunteers. And up to this point, we've had 32 states ask for immediate removal. Uh, we've had a petition with over 21,000 signatures. I've had 22 former Miss Americas um, just say that we want to make it better for the next girl. Um, so if you want to look in detail of, of you know, some of the instances, uh, it's in the letter, but, you know, we're just looking right now, instead of hashing out the past and going back through, you know, what I had been through, how we can change it um, with a short amount of time to make sure that it's better for the next girl. Was there a moment for you where you just thought, enough is enough, I can't deal with this any longer? Was there a moment where you just said, all right, now I've had it? Yeah, you know, at the beginning of the year, we had already had a leadership change during my year. And I knew it was going to be tough circumstances, but I was ready for the challenge. And as you know, we went through January, February, March, and I started voicing concerns, I started thinking that it was me that was the issue. And so I was doing everything I could to make sure that I was the best Miss America. And by the time I hit the summer, I ended up contacting two different board members on two different instances, asking for help. And I soon realized that it wasn't me. It wasn't the actions. There's nothing I could do to make it better. Um, instead, it was, it was just kind of the leadership and, you know, what can we do at this point to make sure that someone else doesn't have that experience? It's so interesting, Cara, because with Gretchen Carlson taking over the new board, it was supposed to be sort of a whole new administration, pro-women, pro-your girls, pro-your team. And so, I know you don't want to talk specifics here, but it seems like it's not what the board came in to do. Have you spoken to Gretchen since all this came out? Yeah, so actually when the letter was released, um, Gretchen went and did a people exclusive interview that afternoon. I still hadn't been contacted. The organization released a statement saying that my claims were false uh, and that I hadn't gone previously before to discuss the issues, which I have documentation that I did. I have documentation that everything is in fact true. Um, and then I ended up getting reached out. I got a call from her that night at midnight, but I had an event the next day. Um, since then, I mean, to go publicly and to say that my claims aren't true, I have asked that everything be in written communication. Um, just to make sure that if there is any miscommunication, having things in writing, I would prefer. Uh, I still haven't necessarily had that opportunity. I've been asked to be on calls one-on-one -on -one with her and our CEO, um, or I guess two-on-one, -on -one if you want to call it that. Um, so again, just put in these vulnerable positions. Like I said, I'm more than willing to discuss this. I'm more than willing to connect. I've been trying to you know, say these concerns since the end of January. Uh, but now I just feel like if I'm going to be publicly brought out saying that I'm not telling the truth, there needs to be something in writing.
Ms. Munt, some of the claims from the organization is that you were bad at social media and that you weren't credible enough to do big interviews. Is that some of the things that were bothering you and, and, and got at you? No, not necessarily. It was just a buildup of one thing after another. I mean, completely removing my identity, calling me the wrong name. Uh, I mean, that happened in front of all of the 51 girls that are vying for my job. At that point, I'd been in the job for 11 months. And, you know, it's, I understand that as an organization, they can pick who they want to serve as the face. But at the same time, they can't pick and determine how they can treat their employees if it's done so in a poor manner. It must be very frustrating to be the face of an organization and not allowed to use your voice for it at all, uh, especially with such an, you know, an, an, an accomplishment. Is this an organization that you think does have a chance of getting it right? Because for so long, it seems like it hasn't. Do you think this is something that the Miss America pageant should continue? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. My dream growing up was to be Miss, Miss America. Actually, not even that. It was my state title. And I, had, I came from a state that had never had a Miss America. But I dreamed big enough that I could do it. And I worked hard. And, you know, because the Miss America Doors of Opportunity did open for me that I'm very grateful for, you know, to have a support system of other women. I mean, we're proving right now that Miss America is more relevant than ever because we want to make that change. Uh, it gave me scholarship opportunities. I got to pursue a degree at Brown University. I'll be going to law school after this. I mean, the organization is remarkable, and the opportunities it can give women, the skills it can give them. You know, I, I don't know if I would have had that courage. I mean, after the letter went out, I didn't know what to do, and I kept being told, you've been prepared for this. This is why you're Miss America. And so to give those opportunities to the next girls, I know our 51 contestants are going to Atlantic City soon, and they're so excited, and they should be because this organization can move mountains. We just need to make a few changes. Um, and I think to also honor you know, what our volunteers are saying. These are individuals at the grassroots. I wouldn't be Miss America if it wasn't for them. Well, Cara, good luck crowning the new Miss America. And as far as calling you the wrong name, by the way, I've been here eight years. My name is Kit. They call me Kim sometimes, and I just move <laughs> on, okay? So good luck with everything, yeah, Cara. Congratulations on your honesty, yeah. Thank you.